what the Din Makers Emergency Fund is for. What's in the kitty, Curly? Uh, two fruit gums and a potato. <gasps> Paul, that's where you've been. Oh. oh, I love you. Just tell us what we can afford. <laughs> that's all we can afford? What are we going to do? What's that, Paul? Why don't we enter tonight's Bean Old Town Battle of the Bands competition and win a brand new drum kit for Nasha? See poster window for detail. What are you on about, Pie Face? There's no poster in the. <gasps> the Bean Old Town Battle of the Bands competition! Brilliant! Well done, Paul. Never ending on and on and on and on. Never ending on and on and on. Oh, oh, oh that. Where we sign up for Battle of the Bands? <laughs> Dennis! Yes, thank goodness! <laughs> and there it is, boys! First prize! <laughs> so, who are we up against then, Mr. Mayor? Um, so far, just Walter! <laughs> on and on and on. <laughs> boys, something tells me this one is in the bag. Just fill in the entry form. <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Mayor. Must I really remind you of page 12, paragraph 6, clause 28 of the competition rules? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> Actually, yes, I have no idea what it is. All competing acts must include at least one adult, a rule which clearly renders the din makers ineligible for this competition. Hang on, you don't have an adult. Sorry I'm late, Walter. Me didgeridoo was out of tune. So, Dennis, unless you can recruit a grown-up to join your pathetic excuse for a band by tonight, I suggest you tootle off home and play with your catapult. Two, three, four. Never ending. What are we going to do, Dennis? Chill, Pie Face. All we got to do is find ourselves a grown-up dim maker, and I know just the person. So, we thought you could be the lead singer. What do you think, Gran? Singer in a band, eh? And I thought Supply Zookeeper was a cool job. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, boys? <laughs> Two, three, four! <laughs> <laughs> Home, now! Oh, I'm so sorry, Dennis. I'm sure you'll find someone else. Yeah, but who? We're the Din Makers. We need somebody wild, someone who's a real animal. Where are we going to find someone like that? Ah, <sighs> homeward, lads. No, I thought you locked it. We'll do it now, before any of them escape. We must know some grown-up who could be our lead singer. The Colonel? Too balmy. Mrs Creature? Too scary. Charles Dickens? Too... um... dead. More biscuits, lads. Take a break, eh? Not easy finding yourself a lead singer. <laughs> and I should know, back when I was lead singer with Snot Bazooka, all the other punk bands, they would be begging me to be their uh, lead singer. <gasps> of course! It's been staring us in the face all along. <gasps> Mum! 
She'd be brilliant. Oh, dream on, Dennis. Dad, I need you in the kitchen and get changed at once. You look like an idiot. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Eh? Where'd all the biscuits go? Oh, the gorilla at them. All oh, right. Eh? Hello. Ah! <laughs> ah! We'd better call the zoo, Dennis. They'll come and collect them. Or we don't, on account of genius wearing a striped jumper. Stop! Stop! No more practicing. There are no other entrants. I'm cancelling the competition. Just please stop. So what you're really saying is that, as per Rule 68, Paragraph 12, Clause 8, we win by default, yes? Yes, fine, all right, whatever. Just take the drums and go. Golly, we won something. Mother will be so proud. <laughs> Pause off, boys. <laughs> this show ain't over. Meet the newest member of the Din Makers. Hello. He's big, he's bad, and he's totally a grown-up. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Bite radius, saliva samples, trajectory of peeling motion, there can be no doubt. Whatever ate this banana was not a grown-up human man. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Beano Town, and good night! This is gonna be one epic walkover. Okay, boys, dog, gorilla, potato, let's go rock the house! <laughs> 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 How many times, Bill? You're the one meant to lock it, not me. I'm... <laughs> Let's go to work. <laughs> uh, hurry! No! <laughs> Gentlemen, it is my sad duty to bring to your attention a most cruel and shocking deception. This man is not a man. <laughs> Since the din makers have no adult human in their ranks, I demand they be immediately disqualified. Oh. You see, boys, everything exactly as planned. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, this is not good. Play! If we can get them gorillas dancing again, we can stop this. <laughs> Battle of the Band's first prize. Dennis and the Din Makers, featuring Dad. That's my boy. Hmm, maybe it's his technique. I 
because you think this is funny. Oh, don't be mad, Walter. Your little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the crest you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> Well, as this crest growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh, so detention this weekend won't bother you then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once in a lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? <laughs> Bye-bye. Uh -huh. what are we going to do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic. I mean, chickens who are vampires. And they have a squad. I mean, it's the best idea ever. Paul was going to get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention. We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants. And fast... <laughs> Who's daddy's little darling then? <laughs> so, cress, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. <laughs> How about I give you seeds for both? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you need a hothouse, like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favourably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee... Ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. If this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> has passed its best before date. <laughs> if comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for menaced up super science. <laughs> <laughs> to the hot house! Curly, we can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget your promise to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. <sighs> ah, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyphees and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. Ha-ha! <laughs> Results! I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper cress. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that must be the Venus flytrap genes. This is what perfect cress looks like. Who's ever seen cress that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big cress looks like. When they're grown up, cress heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. 
fascinating. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Walter. Oh, I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on Comic Convention Missing Detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis! The unusually large and bitey cress. It's got larger and bitier. Ah! <laughs> there may still be a bit more dodging to do. <laughs> I told you it's not cress. You don't see cress this big. And eating things. Dennis? Uh, Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Cress this big and eating things. And that's because uh, this is how fully grown Cress carries on. Kids normally grow Cress for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our crest got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown crest is pies. <laughs> it must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown Cress experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants, pies! <laughs> I hope you've got a plan, Dennis. We're running out of pies. What? I only had one or two. Don't worry, Curly. Genius always has a plan. They'll be happy here. Disposing of pies past the sell by day. Dad's best shop assistant ever. Nice one, Dennis. Okay, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing! <laughs> well, it's a good job we also have national power. <laughs> <laughs> My study. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. Oh. Mm. Mm. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, Pie face. One problem at a time. Screwdriver. 
drill. <laughs> no use. We've lost her. Nah, it just needs a gentle tap. Sledgehammer. <laughs> Allowed on this one. I did tell you. <laughs> no problem. Nipper can spend the day with us, right, Nasha? Nasha! <laughs> 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 well, as long as your mum don't mind. Ta ta! Of course she won't mind. No way! I am not having two dogs here. Never again! The, the postman made me promise he can go to doggy daycare. It's okay. That's like a doggy hotel, Nipper. Pool, ice cream, bones. It'll be fun. How much? For one day? Yes, 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 yes. I'll take it. Right, Nipper's books into the Palace of Doggy Delights. A luxury resort for dogs? Well, it's worth every penny if it bides me a day of peace and quiet. <laughs> she loves you really, Nipper. <laughs> She just doesn't always know how to show it. <laughs> yes. The Palace of Doggy Delights. <laughs> wow. I've heard they have solid gold food bowls. And the biggest bones in Beano Town. Not to mention a private pool. Paul could use a bit of pampering. He's looking tired. Your day of poochie pampering awaits. <laughs> Tastes like meat. Welcome to the Palace of Doggy Delights. <laughs> Don't my Rufus, he's a big softy. <gasps> oh, and who's this little fella? <coughs> oh, what's in your flea bag? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> how adorable. Uh, hey, can we have a go in your pool? Don't be daft. <laughs> I mean, four legged friends only. <laughs> nash, nash. Paying four legged friends only. Unless, of course, it's a double booking. <laughs> nah, Mother'd blow a fuse if she had to pay for both of them. Oh, can my pet Paul stay with you? Of course. What breed is he? King Edward. Huh? Well, if you can afford the fee, he's welcome. Oh, do you take pie? <laughs> you can pick them up this evening. <clears throat> oh, they grow up so fast. Fancy a dip in the pool? Yep, yep. Tough luck, Squirt. All of this stuff is just for show. <laughs> Rufus, show this stuck-up pup where he's really staying. <laughs> <laughs> of doggy delights. <laughs> I hope Paul gets spoiled rotten. I don't. Who wants a rotten potato? <laughs> Ow, what is it? Oh, Paul's blankie. He won't settle without it. We have to go back. Nothing. Chips or mesh? Chips or mesh? I wonder who that could be. <laughs> Perhaps another fool happy to splash the cash. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, did you miss me? <laughs> Don't say a word. What am I saying? Talking about a potato. Mind if we see our nipper settling in? Yes, I do. Oh, I mean, we're, we're just far too busy, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, you don't look busy. Where are all the dogs? <laughs> Where is it? Hold it right there. That's, that's a private area. Staff and dogs only. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I wouldn't if I were you. 
When Rufus hears that whistle, it's no more Mr. Nice Dog. <laughs> just got him off to sleep. I just wanted to make sure he stayed for dinner. <laughs> now get out and stop disturbing my guests. Doggy delights? Fishy tails, more like. Yeah, if that's a doggy daycare, where are all the dogs? Through that door, I bet, and they didn't sound happy. We need to know what's going on back there. <laughs> nash, nash, nash. Nasher cam is a go. <laughs> nice work, Curly. Time for plan D and G. <laughs> oh, good. He's giving Paul his bath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is the worst guard dog in the world. Never mind that. Look what Nash has found. <laughs> Nash! Well, well, well. I do believe we've got ourselves a stray dog. It's not a palace, it's a prison. <laughs> Let's see you chew your way out wearing that <laughs> With any luck, your family will start to miss you and offer up a big, juicy reward. Right, there's barbed wire on the back fence, cameras on all sides, the sewers are rusted shut. I say we go for the roof. Once we're in, we crawl through the ventilation ducts, bypass the security alarms and drop down the rubbish chute. Any questions? Yeah. Why don't we just use the dog flap? <laughs> oh, yeah, we could just... Do that. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. Chips. Oh, my. <laughs> Wait, Pipe. I know, Nasha, there'll be a diversion any second. Now! <laughs> Trying to make my dinner. Coast clear now. Oh, my God, I'm stuck. Oh. Oh. oh, that's better. Oh, do you think anyone heard us? <laughs> like I said, world's worst guard dog. Oh. Shut it, or you'll all be sorry. Don't say I didn't warn ya! <coughs> Good puppy! Leave this to me! No one potato naps, Paul! <coughs> oh, I got so tired up! Where's that mutt got to? No, oh, he probably didn't hear me. <coughs> oh, that was close. Come on! Show these wimps who's top dog around here. <laughs> oh, finally! There's only one top dog around here, and that's Nasher! <laughs> Genius wears a stripe jumper. Oh, oh you stupid kid! Without that whistle, Rufus is just a sloppy waste of space! <laughs> Please, please, I didn't mean it, Rufus. Oh, yeah, yeah, old friends. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'll give you a steak every night if you... Ah! Let me out of here. What's wrong? Don't you like the five-star facilities? <laughs> Good job he's fond of cages. He'll be seeing loads where he's headed. <laughs> Prison. Sergeant, shouldn't someone look after these dogs till their owners get here? Hmm. Results! <laughs> it's a dog's life, eh, Nasha? <laughs> 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 Okay, Nasha, nobody gets in that door. Mm. 
Dennis, we're going on a family holiday whether you like it or not. Please, Mum. I can't take another holiday at Auntie Prue's. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Auntie Prue, 500 star trumps before breakfast. It's too much! Nonsense! You need to earn your wheat jump porridge. Now, put your backs into it, spit spot. <laughs> Don't worry, we're not going back to Auntie Prue's. We've managed to find a holiday camp you haven't been banned from. And there's loads of activities to keep you out of our hair. I, I mean, happy. <laughs> Adventure playgrounds, archery targets, scavenger hunts, fun, fun, fun from dawn till dusk. <laughs> Sounds brilliant. Let's get packing, Nasha. Rest, rest, rest. Now look, son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Saves me taking it down. Are we there yet? For the 500th time, no! Uh, try and enjoy the country here. Insert pipe K into slot 9. <laughs> Taking care not to... <laughs> Check out the campsite, Dad. Of course you can. Soon as you get your tent up. <laughs> That'll keep him quiet for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All done. I'll be back for tea. See ya. <laughs> hey! Welcome to Camp Sunshine. I'm Billy, your crazy camp host. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for fun. Am I right? I'll show you the way and let you start relaxing. Oh. And here's our activity tent. Now, you don't want grown-ups cramping your style. Am I right? So, I've left it all in the capable hands of my favourite nephew. Cool. <laughs> Walter! Yes! I see your mum got the leaflet. <laughs> she told me all about Auntie Prue's and I couldn't bear to think of you having another terrible time on your holidays. Yes! Right then, I'll leave you to get on with it then, shall I? <laughs> Bye-bye for now. Cool! Archery! <laughs> It pens. So we can do some fun colouring in, of course. Colouring in? What about archery? Oh no, Dennis, that's far too dangerous. We're exploring the creative arts. Creative, eh? <laughs> Stay within the lines. Hmm. Don't forget the uh <laughs> oh! <laughs> bullseye! <laughs> I'm in charge here. Oh, if you want to stay, you have to go oh, to do what I tell you. Oh, maybe I don't want to stay. What? Would you rather go back to Auntie Prue's? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a bracing ice cold char. That's... <laughs> OK. Maybe it is better here. Just... Yeah. Ugh. Hmm. Of course it is. You'll find my activities a perfect blend of healthy exercise and educational fun. <whistles> to the adventure playground! Yeah! <laughs> That's more like it! <sighs> <sighs> this is not more like it. We should be climbing it, not cleaning it. And mess it up with your muddy feet? Not likely. <laughs> Water. We need more water. Whatever you say, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Any more messing about and you'll have to leave. And we both know what that means. Uh, can't I have some lemonade, Auntie? Nonsense. Prune juice is good for you. <laughs> This holiday 
day's turning into a real washout. <laughs> oh, hello, son. Ready for some beans and sausages? Proper camping food. Hey, hey! Everyone's having a lovely time. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Yes. Walter said you weren't settling in. He thought you may be happier on holiday somewhere else. Auntie Prue's, was it? Oh, oh behave! Oh, behave! behave. Tell you what, there's a scavenger hunt tomorrow. Yeah! Why don't you take part and see for yourselves that a Camp Sunshine holiday is the best holiday in the whole wide world. Am I right? Oh, I love my job. Dennis, please find a way to get along with Walter before he gets us all kicked out. And before we have to go and stay with Auntie Prue. Oh, it's going to be all right. Oh, I'm not letting Walter ruin our holiday. Time for Plan D and G. <laughs> Morning. I've made breakfast. Are you feeling all right? Of course. Why don't the two of you go for a nice early morning walk? I'll look after B. <laughs> like Dad says, proper camping food. Hope you're hungry, B. <laughs> They're the best scavenger list ever. Those beans brewing yet, B? <laughs> now to print it out. Oh, what is that bong? <laughs> Keep watch, Nasha. <laughs> Let's make this list a bit more interesting. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. Nash, Nash! Now, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks, B. <laughs> now, the scabbing hunt rules are simple. Like you, eh, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> Silence! Collect as many items on my list as you can. But beware, many of them are rather surprising. He's not wrong there. Nash, Nash! Uncle Billy and I will judge the winner when you get back. On your marks, get set, scavenge! <laughs> Nash, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Scavenger hunts, Walter. I put loads of fun items on this year. <laughs> uh, my megaphone! Hey, wh what are you doing with that? <laughs> it was on Walter's list. Look. Let me see that. The, the red toilet roll, five points. Birthface cheek. Uh, a hot dog sausage, ten points. My dinner more like. A pair of polka dot pants, a hundred points. All the tent pegs you can carry, ten points each. <laughs> but I don't understand. <laughs> it's chaos back there. Who told you ought to pull up our tent pegs? <laughs> Sorry, Walter. It seems you can't be trusted to be in charge. Am I right? Yes! Hey, kids, who would you like in charge? Yes! I can't hear you! Yes! Well, looks like we have a winner. Am I right? Yes! Oh, I'm not wrong. Time for some proper fun. Colouring in the archery targets. Huh? Style. Hooray! Uh, hang on, Walter. Someone has some tent pegs to replace. Am I right? No. Oh, cheer up, Walter. We're on holiday. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. 
sports day. Oh, yes. Where's that, Dennis? Fresh air, no lessons, and a million ways to make menacing mayhem. Whoopee cushions, Curly? <laughs> <laughs> Let the games begin. Like Nasha loves Sports Day too. I think Pie Face needs some help choosing a discus. Go, Nasha! Nasha boy! Oh, thanks, Den. So, wind from the east, medium density cross. Come on, Pie Face! We haven't got all day! Oops, that's unlucky. Nice throw, Pie Face. Oh, sometimes you're just in the zone. <coughs> Too late to menace this race. Patience, Curly. Three, two, one. Ribbit. That's my frog. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Toad. And the gold medal for menacing goes to. Serious. Exactly. Oh. You have ruined sports day. Dennis, you've disgraced the school. Sir, it's clear he knows nothing about sportsmanship, unlike me. You're right. Walter, my boy, why don't you teach Dennis about discipline in the three-legged race? Genius idea, Headmaster. Me? Strapped to him? No way! <laughs> <laughs> Slippers handcuffs for the three legged race. What a good idea. I've been waiting ages to get these on, Dennis. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Shall I look after the key for you, Sergeant? I'm going to win this race, so keep up. Oh, your shoelace is untied, Walter. Is it? Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> The winner is me! What? No, I did all the work. Give it Let's go! My, I my, my the trophy! Me. Let's go! <laughs> you, that was your fault! Walter, you were a shining example to Dennis. Well, I'm always keen to help the school where I can. Uh, may we now consider this lesson finished? Get me out of this! I seem to have lost the key. What? Well, where did you last have it? Oh, over there, I think. Or maybe it was over there. Or there. Oh, dear. Where's the key, Angel Face? Not telling. I'll teach you to put a frog in my sack. Excuse me, what did I do? You laughed. 
Well, it was quite funny. Thanks, Walter. Oh, be quiet, Dennis. Well, let's see how funny you find this. Maybe I'll remember where the key is if the two of you get me, um, an ice drop flower from right at the top of Mount Beagle. That's miles away. Better get a move on then, hadn't you? This way! Nash! <laughs> Ow! Stupid animal! Don't talk about Nasha like that. I wasn't talking about Nasha. Oh, that's it! I've had enough. Nasha, chew my leg off. <laughs> you two have got to work together. Nasha, give them a rhythm. Nash! 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 Nash
with my personal Junior Genius Lab kit. That should present no problem, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Creature, my beak is broken. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, then pair up with Walter, Dennis. What? Oh, surely you two can work together for five minutes. had to evacuate the entire school because of the mm, smell. Do you have anything to say for yourselves for ruining Mrs. Creature's experiment? Yes, Headmaster. It was all his fault. I told you not to touch the beaker when the liquid oozes. You have zero understanding of slime production. What's there to understand? Puerile pranks, tawdry tricks, all child's play. Child's play? Menacing takes skill and precision timing. You couldn't menace a dead fish. I could do that in my sleep. Whereas you wouldn't last one afternoon completing my to-do list. What? Measuring the straightness of my tie with a ruler? Yeah, really hard, Walter. I do more than that. I... Boys, boys, boys. It seems we have here a classic lack of mutual understanding. But I have the perfect solution. You will each spend this afternoon living each other's lives. <laughs> I've spoken to your parents and it's agreed. This afternoon you will live according to the habits and rules of the other's household. <laughs> Stop! Swap! I'll explain later, Nasha. It's complicated. Here is Walter's jam-packed schedule for this afternoon. Jingle Composer Club. Toothpick Modeler's Symposium with the Colonel. Competitive bird watching. Swimming pool mathletics. Pet grooming. <laughs> Where do you keep your garden shears? <laughs> Dennis's schedule? <laughs> For what? His after-school activities. Uh, he doesn't exactly have a schedule. He, he lives in the moment. <laughs> this will be a breeze, just as I thought. <laughs> I do hope Dennis is coping. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you've studied your chords. Stand straight, shoulders back. No slouching! <laughs> now, after me, I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Um, usually Dennis just says something like, Rock! Rock? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Bird watching. Huh. Yeah. Let's liven this up, Nasha. Snake! This isn't the sort of thing we do with Dennis, Walter. Hmm. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> So, this is a toothpick modeler's symposium. Hmm. Oh. Play with B can't be that hard. Hmm. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What's swimming pool mathletics anyway? Three times seven is twenty-one. Four times seven is twenty-eight. Five times seven, Dennis. Oh, I know this one. Cannonball! <laughs> so far, you're not doing very well at being Walter, Dennis. I knew you'd find my life too hard. Meanwhile, I'm blitzing yours. Treehouse tidied, a study regime for B. I've even introduced the din makers to the principles of classical harmony. That's not being a menace, Walter. That sounds like things you do. Epic fail. Boys, you have one more chance to live each other's life before the day is done, or... 
I'll pay you up in every class until the term ends. Seventeen times thirty-two is five hundred and forty-four. Eighteen times thirty-two is five hundred and seventy-six. Nineteen times thirty-two is... Ribbit. OK, time for plan D, G and W. We need to help each other if we're going to get through to Tester's experiment. Very well. Listen carefully. After swimming pool mathletics, it's bath time. Make sure you use plenty of soap. Then it's afternoon tea. This is very important. You must use the scone fork. It's second from the right. Do not use the Battenberg fork. OK, but, Walter, you've got to think like a menace. Remember, fun is always just around the corner. Come, Claudius. We have menacing to attend to. And it's bath time for you and me. <laughs> Lots of soap, eh? Low setting, I think. <laughs> today with some menacing equipment. Ooh. 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 <sighs> right, Nasha, all I have to do is get through the scon test and life goes back to normal. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> He certainly looks and smells the part. Oh! Not the Battenberg fork! Use the second one! The second one! Ha! Ah. Sure. Just goes to show you can complete a successful experiment without any mischief. A plus for you, Dennis. Yes! But Walter still has to pass his test. Uh, Walter excels at everything he does. <laughs> He'll be just fine, I assure you. I'm not so sure about that. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the instructions on this device? <coughs> Too late, anyway. Postman's way out of range now. Strangely quiet today. Oh, no! I told you not to waste time arranging the pranks according to the Dewey Decimal System. But they need it sorted out. I failed. Maybe not. <gasps> no! I, well, I can possibly. Ha <laughs> ha! But I could. <laughs> Do it, Claudius. Walter! What are you doing, Walter? Being Dennis, sir. Mm, yes, I, I suppose you are. Well, well done. Very good. <laughs> 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 So, what have you uh, to, uh, learnt today, Walter? Well, that having no rules can be somewhat liberating. And you, Dennis? Ah, well, I learnt that, um, uh, that everyone needs a bath sometimes. Mm, yes, I suppose they do. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. You have successfully completed today's experiment. to join us for afternoon tea, Headmaster? Thank you, Walter. I never say no to a scone. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who knew bath time could be so much fun? Follow me. 